Spring Watch, actually. Every element of wonder. Available across the BBC. This is BBC News. I'm Anita McVeigh. The headlines at three. Thousands of people are marching through London to demand a vote on the final deal on the UK's departure from the EU. Brexit is not what people expected, not what they voted for. And we can't keep going into this absolute disaster without stopping and rethinking whether we really want to do this. Senior cabinet ministers, meanwhile, stress the UK is still prepared to walk away from Brexit talks without a deal. An explosion rocks a stadium in Zimbabwe where President Emerson Ngagwa was addressing thousands of people. Officials say he wasn't injured. Inside Mali, we follow the UN soldiers battling al-Qaeda and so-called Islamic State in the world's most dangerous peacekeeping mission. Also coming up, tackling the devastating impact of plastic pollution. So David Attenborough launches a new campaign and says he's been astonished by the response to the Blue Planet series. And in half an hour, the Click team visit America's first sustainable solar-powered town. A very good afternoon to you and welcome to BBC News. Two years after the Brexit referendum, thousands of people are protesting in central London to demand what they call a people's vote on the outcome of the negotiations with the EU. We'll be going live to our correspondent in central London in